Hey you guys, it's Mrs. Dix here, and um, this is kind of a new way that I'm going to be doing guidance lessons. And um, so first of all, we're just going to kind of roll back through what we've talked about this year so far. So um, as you guys know, I was new in January, so starting in February, we decided that we would talk about the three R's that are in our Chickasaw's pledge um, and that is respectful, responsible, and ready. And so we've already talked about two of those things. We've talked about um, being respectful and what that means, what it looks like, what it doesn't look like. And then we've talked about responsibility and what it looks like to be a responsible Chickasaw champion and um, what a difference that can make in our life. Now, some of you guys did not get that lesson because we um, had March cut a little bit short. Um, so if you guys didn't get that lesson in, in my classroom, it is uploaded um, onto, the, onto my website in the Counselor's Corner. Um, so you guys can go there and check that out. So this will be our first video guidance lesson. And it's going to look a whole lot different than what I did have planned for in the classroom. But hopefully it will still be fun and give you guys a little something to do at home. So, if we've already talked about being respectful, responsible, what would be the third R? It would be ready, okay? So today we're talking about what it means to be ready and um, how we can show that we're ready. And I figured the best way to do that would be cookies. And you guys are probably thinking, what in the world? Mrs. Dix has lost her mind, but I am going to kind of give an example of what it would mean to be ready by making cookies. So, today we're making peanut butter cookies, and these are super duper easy. You guys can make them at home. Make sure you ask permission and make sure you get a little help since you're going to be dealing with the oven, okay? And I don't want anybody getting hurt, so make sure that if you guys decide to make these, which I hope you do, um, that you will grab um, whoever you live with um, and have them help you first. So, first of all, we're making peanut butter cookies. Okay, so peanut butter cookies. Hmm, I know that I'm going to need one cup of sugar. You can see that. Okay. I'm going to need half a cup of chocolate chips. Now, I don't have any regular chocolate chips, so these are white chocolate chips, but anything will do. I'm going to need, let me see, one teaspoon of baking soda. And this is also why you need to get your, um, whoever you live with, you need to get their help because you might need help finding these ingredients. Um, I'm going to need a bowl to mix all the ingredients in. I'm going to need, this might be a little loud, I need a spatula to get the cookies off of the cookie sheet that you're going to need. And you might also need a spoon so that when you are scooping the cookies onto the cookie sheet, you've got something to use instead of your fingers, okay? Even though I know you guys are probably going to want to do that. Um, and then also something to help you with the bowl and the stirring and all of that is a spatula, okay? Now, I'm ready. I am ready to make my peanut butter cookies, right? Wait. What did I leave out? If I only have sugar, chocolate chips, one teaspoon of baking soda, and then I'll have a bowl and the stuff to mix the ingredients. Is that going to make peanut butter cookies? No, you know what I forgot because I wasn't ready is my egg, right? Now I'm ready to make peanut butter cookies, right? Wrong. Think really quickly, what have I not shown you guys on the screen 
that I'm gonna need to make peanut butter cookies. Right, it's peanut butter and a lot of it. You need a whole cup of peanut butter to make these cookies. No one said they were healthy, but they are delicious. <laughs> so here's my point. If I tried to make peanut butter cookies out of half a cup of chocolate chips, a cup of sugar, no eggs, and only baking soda and no peanut butter, would I have peanut butter cookies? No, I would have a bunch of powder and chocolate chips in a bowl, right? So in order to be ready to make my peanut butter cookies, I have a whole cup of peanut butter, I have one egg, I have one cup of sugar, I have half a cup of chocolate chips, and I have one teaspoon of baking soda, okay? And then I have all the tools that I mentioned. I have the spoon, spatula, the bowl, and then the cookie sheet. Now, this is another, oh, and a spatula. Um, this is another reason I need you guys to get permission before you touch the oven. Make sure you get permission. Now, a parent or whoever you stay with needs to turn the oven to 350 while you are um, mixing all of these ingredients together. All right? I'm going to let you guys watch how I'm going to do that. I can get it angled right. There we go. All right. So, it doesn't really matter um, what order you put it all in. Oh, and there's my cat decided to join us. Um, so, first, I'm going to put in the whole cup of peanut butter. Like I said, I didn't say these were healthy. Okay, almost got it. All right, we're gonna call that good. Scrape it down a little bit with a spoon. Okie dokie. Now, after you have that, you're going to put in your one egg into the bowl. After you've done that, you are going to put in your one cup of sugar. Then you're going to put in your one teaspoon of baking soda. Baking soda helps things to rise in the oven and to bake the right way, okay? After that, you're going to put in your half a cup of chocolate chips. Like I said, I have white chocolate chips. You can use whatever kind you have, okay? Now, Mrs. Diggs has this fancy mixer at her house, and this is one of my favorite things I have. Makes things super easy. If you don't have one of these, you can just use this spatula to mix all the ingredients together, okay? But I'm going to use this for right now. I'm going to let you guys watch. My cat's trying to get into the cookies. All right, here we go. I'm going to let that mix. You can tell what it's doing. I'll let you guys get a look down in there. All right, so even if you don't have one of these fancy mixers, if you use your hands and you just use a spatula, it'll still end up okay. So the next step would be to scrape our cookies into little, um, little globs that we are going to put on our baking sheet. So I said earlier we're gonna need a cookie sheet. You guys might also need some cooking spray. Okay, so you're gonna spray your sheet. If you don't have any of that, it's okay. It's just that your cookies might stick a little bit. That's not a big deal. After that, I'm going to take my spoon into my bowl and I'm gonna just grab about a spoonful of the dough and kind of ball it up a little bit. 
and then put it on my cookie sheet. Okay? I'll just do a couple more and kind of show you how I'm doing it. Grab a spoonful, kind of ball it up. Like that, and put it on your sheet. Now, make sure you guys have washed your hands before you do this, right? Okay. So, I'm going to continue to do that. Um, and then, I'll show you kind of what these look like. I'm going to continue to do that. It's probably going to fill up my entire cookie sheet. After the entire cookie sheet is filled up, you're going to bop it in the oven for about 10 minutes. Um, this is also where you're going to need some help from your parents to help you decide if they're done or not. Um, but once you think they're done, take them out, let them cool for a minute, and you guys can enjoy them by using your spatula that you have to pull them off of the cookie sheet. Now, the whole point here was if I don't have my peanut butter, can I make peanut butter cookies? No, I can make not peanut butter cookies. I don't even know if they would actually rise in the oven without the peanut butter and the egg, right? So that just goes to show how important it is to have all of your ingredients ready before you go to bake because then you might make a mistake. And the same goes for you guys in the classroom. Whenever we come back to school or even at home, you guys know that when you do chores, maybe you need... Um, a certain kind of cleaner or you need paper towels or if you're gonna go walk the dog you need a leash right so this is all about showing what all we need to be ready and when we're ready we are more successful so make sure you guys take some time at home and get your parents or whoever you live with to help you make these cookies they're super yummy for my kiddos who have peanut allergies I didn't forget about you I'm also gonna post a recipe on my website underneath this video with a non-peanut option to make cookies too. All right, missing y'all.